So I didn't, I didn't grow up in church. I think we, we gave it a shot a few times, but um, I always believed. I always knew that Jesus was real. I always knew that God was real, um, but I didn't know how to reach, reach them. Um, you know, I've written songs about the fact that, that, you know, I didn't grow up in church and, and I needed salvation, but I didn't know how to get the salvation. Um, and I was strung out on, on drugs. I was strung out on alcohol. Um, I'm living life in the secular music scene, and uh, and it's not making sense to me. And and music was my god. Um, it was what I worshipped, uh, and then everything that came with it. I was worshiping that. I worshiped the time on the stage. I worshiped uh, the fun that it brought, and. And that was the only time I was having fun because when I would leave the stage and the crowd and, and all the all of the noise from the from the instruments, then I'd go back to a motel room and I was there by myself and that's when everything would come crashing down and, and it was just me and my guitar. Then when I got saved radically, uh, September 7th, um, actually September 19th of 2007, um, God, uh, he, he, I knew it was real this time. I knew that when 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 I'd said that Jesus was real and God was real, that finally when I opened up my heart to him and I confessed and I cried out father because I didn't have a father before. I had a lot of stepdads that came through my life, but my father died when I was uh, four. And uh, so I never called anybody father. I never said dad or any of that until that night when I cried out to him September 19th. And, uh, and I knew it was real at that time that, that God was my father. Um, I didn't desire the drugs anymore. I didn't desire the alcohol anymore. And I didn't understand that because I was still in the secular music scene. But I knew he was calling me to something different. So I showed up at church down in Freeport, Texas, started playing music there. You know, I still wasn't satisfied. I wanted to play in the bars still. I, I had a I had a desire to be out in the scene and I didn't understand that and I was fighting that desire but I wanted to be in church but I wasn't satisfied being in church and God finally called me and, and he said look he said I want you to go back into the scene I called you out of it to change you now I'm sending you back because I want you to change others so I'm back in the scene not with the alcohol not with the drugs I'm bringing Jesus with me and this is so much better than it ever was before so we started the Texas Music Christian Association and we're reaching out to secular artists that have a faith but they don't have a place to play the songs they're still playing in the clubs but I know they want to talk about it so God has laid that on my heart and he's given me that vision and I finally finally feel like the gift that he's given me is being used for something good and, and I just, I can't ever say it enough that this is real to me now. And wherever he leads me, that's where I'm going to go.